Hello everyone, this is Eric Lima and welcome to another episode from the second chapter and channel of my YouTube vlog of 2018 derived from my original vlog of the People's Lima. It's EML77 TV and it's episode 147, episode 147, how's everyone doing out there? Um, today's November 1st, that's right, Halloween's over. Get ready to kick off the holiday season, baby, and here's how we're going to do it. That's what I'm going to talk about, Crown Jewel. But before we get started on that, hey, check out the World Series Championship ball cap, baby. Right there, right there. That's where it's at, you know? Ha <laughs> ha, it's really cool. It's, it's really cool. I can't believe the Red Sox won the World Series again. That's so awesome. Alrighty then, um, WWE Crown Jewel. Now, let me explain why I am going to go on with the, um, making predictions and picks about this. To, to me, this is all about support. I'm watching it because I'm going to support the wrestlers, the performers that work very, very hard. It isn't about politics or anything like that. You know, people talk about separation of church and state. We should do the same thing with politics and entertainment. I'm sorry. It's my opinion. And if you don't like it, don't watch Don't watch my videos. Um, don't watch the, the pay-per-view. Simple as that. Don't complain. You know, there's a lot of people have been taking a backlash about this. WWE's taking a backlash. Either way, the WWE is going to get some serious backlash out of this. So it's damned if you do and damned if you don't. So that's the way it is, you know. Uh, I'll explain why. Um, there was a big um, controversy going on with the Saudi government. Um, rumor has it they were... I don't know if the rumor is, is true or not, and whatever it is that the um, Saudi government put out a hit on a, 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 journal, a Saudi journalist from the Washington Post, a, a Saudi American journalist, uh, Jamal Khashoggi. Um, he went to the, the consulate in Turkey to um, document, uh, to make, get, get documents for his um, marriage to, to his to his fiance, and he ended up getting killed, and that was a big to do. Um, because of that situation, the WB Crown Jewel was though in, in it was in the, the WB happened to be in the middle of the whole situation, so to speak, because they were going over there to do Crown Jewel, and the Saudi prince asked them they wanted the he wanted the WWE and and then then comes this um, they say he ordered a hit on the uh, the journalist and it it, it was a big mess down there, but the WWE. Well, they had a tough decision to make, unfortunately, and they decided to go on with the show. They decided to go on. Um, I know people saying, oh, they're accepting blood money and all that. Listen, they were put in a tight spot, and, you know, but they decided either, either way they're going to get, get heat for this, you know, and they're going to get flagged for this. Either way, it was a, it was a tough decision. I don't know what's going to happen, what would affect their uh, relationship down the road. Maybe they're not going to do any more shows in Saudi Arabia until this whole thing is over with and done with, documentary-wise and all that crap. But, um, you know, to me, I'm watching it just to support the wrestlers that are doing this. So they are doing the Crown Jewel pay-per-view. A couple of changes because of that situation. Uh, John Cena and Daniel Bryan are bowed out of the um, Crown Jewel pay-per-view event. Um, the w as a result, the WWE Championship that it was supposed to happen at Crown Jewel between Styles and Daniel Bryan. They had it this past Tuesday night, and Styles ended up being the victor. Samoa Joe blindsided Styles, and so Samoa Joe will be placing Daniel Bryan on the title match on the card at Crown Jewel. Another thing is Bobby Lashley was so impressive. Um, with um, was so was in Baron Corbin's eyes. Baron Corbin decided to put um, Bobby Lashley as a replacement for John Cena. So it will be Bobby Lashley going one on one with the Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, and that will be what that will be. I'll do my picks on the WWE World Cup bracket. I'm going to do some bracketology. So, so, so that's the thing. So let's get to the um, other cards. There are four titles will be on the line. Uh, as you know, the um, Universal Title will be on the line. As you notice, it was supposed to be a triple threat match, but because of what happened to Roman Reigns. Uh, battling leukemia and all. He's taking a leave of absence to do that. So he had to vacate the uh, Universal title. So Baron Corbin, along with Stephanie, decided, well, let's make this a one-on-one -on -one match between Lesnar and Strowman. It'll be a heck of a matchup there. So it'll be Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman for the vacant Universal title. Whoever wins gets to become a Universal Champion. Well, all praying ain't going to be Brock again. We we're sick and tired seeing that title being held hostage by him. I'll get to that in a, in a couple of minutes. WWE Championship on the line as AJ Styles Defense it against Samoa Joe. SmackDown Live Tag Team Town on the line. The Bar, that's Sheamus and Cesaro with Big Show in that corner, against the New Day. 
which two or three members of the New Day between Kofi Kingston and Big E and Xavier Woods. We'll find out tomorrow tomorrow afternoon as uh, it's going to be on 12 Eastern Time. And then degener- the main event to me is the De- Degeneration X, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Shawn Michaels' first time back in the ring in over, what, eight years? We'll, we'll, get, we'll go up against the Brothers of Destruction, Kane, The Undertaker, and the kickoff for the United States Heavyweight title as Shinsuke Nakamura, the president of Naka America, will defend the title against Rusev, the Bulgarian brute, who was a former two-time United States Heavyweight champion. All right, let's get to it. Universal title, Strowman, Lesnar, I'm going to pick the monster among men. I think it's about time that, because of uh, his classiness and respect towards Roman Reigns, to me, I'm picking Strowman. But Drew McIntyre may get involved in the matchup. Who knows for sure? Um, okay, I don't know if, he, if he's going to be um, taking that trip to Saudi Arabia. We'll we'll find out for for sure. Because uh, I know some superstars have reprehen- um, have um, reservations about that. So some don't probably don't want to attend. Some do. It's an op- it's an optional thing. Uh, Samoa uh, Joe versus a- challenging AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. I think Samoa Joe. It's it's, it's time for him to be champion finally so Samoa Joe will go up will be the new WWE champion all right the bar versus the new day this is going to be a tough call to make I think I'm gonna pick the new day to be six-time champions I think gonna have like an edge and Christian type run with those tag team titles to me they're about as entertaining as edge and Christian to my opinion and speaking of which they dressed up as the brew this past Tuesday night because it was a trick or street fight because Halloween was yesterday all right, DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Who is going to win that one? Oh, my God. Tough call to make. Tough call to make. But I'm going to have to go with DX. And you know, you think Shawn Michaels will come back off of nothing. Now, come on. I think Shawn Michaels has something to prove to The Undertaker and Kane. I respect the Brothers of Destruction. They're really cool dudes. As well, they're my favorite tag, one of my favorite tag teams. But I'm not to go with DX in this one. DX has got some aces up his sleeve. And you got Triple H's cerebral assassin, you know something's going to go on in, in that crazy mind of his. All right, United States Heavyweight title, Shinsuke Nakamura, Rusev. Yeah, I'm looking at a new champion. I'm looking at a new champion. Rusev Day. It'll be Rusev Day at the Crown Jewel because Rusev will be a three-time U- United States Heavyweight Champion. All right, so that's part round one. I'm... I'm going to get back to you about the uh, World Cup. I'm going to drop a um, bracket, and, and I'll show you the brackets, okay? Part one. All right, I'm back, and I just fi- finished out the World Cup bracketology. Now, check this out. Once again, <coughs> excuse me. Once again, um, check this out. The um, the raw bracket's been filled out. As you know, Seth Rollins, the Intercontinental Champion, will go up again, will wa- go one-on-one with Bobby Lashley, um, the replacement for John Cena. And as uh, Dolph Ziggler will go on one-on-one with Kurt Angle. Well, and on the uh, SmackDown Live side, Miz will go on one-on-one with Jeff Hardy. And Randy Orton will go one-on-one with Rey Mysterio. So how this is going to play out. Now, there is a caveat on the SmackDown side of things. Shane's about had enough of his sister dominating and, and running things and running her mouth and such and whatnot. Here's the thing. If a SmackDown Live superstar loses in the final... To a Monday night, to a Raw super, on, against the Raw superstar, that person is fired from SmackDown Live. Basically, simple as that. So, who do I got here? Uh, I'm just going to put initials of the superstars that I believe is going to do it, and it's going to be very tough. I'm going to read right and left handed, too. That's why I'm doing it as initials. All right, Rollins Lashley. I think Leo Rush is going to get involved. Dean Ambrose could get involved somehow. And I put Alpha Lashley, and that's what I'm pointing for. And see Ziggler and Angle. I want to see Kurt Angle beat. And all right, yeah, I want to see Angle beat Dolph Ziggler. Um, Angle and Lashley. I'm picking Angle to go to the finals here. I think Kurt Angle. All right, there we go. So that's the deal. All right, SmackDown Live. Miz and Jeff Hardy. You know what? Personally, I want to see Miz advance because I personally want to see him gone from SmackDown Live. All right, and, uh, oh, this is going to be, okay, I'm going to put M.I. for Miz. And I'm going to put M.Y. for Mysterio. I think Ray Mysterio is going to win that matchup. But, like I said, Miz will win. And 
I think Angle is going to win the whole thing. There you go. That's my World Cup predictions right there. All right. All right. Lashley over Rollins. Angle over Sigler. Mysterio over Orton. Miz over Hardy. Miz over Mysterio. Miz. Angle over Miz. Miz is fired for SmackDown Live. I am calling it right now. All right. That's that's my prediction. This is my prediction. I know it's not the best, but you know what? I'm going with it. Why the heck not, right? Uh, a couple things you need to know. Um, for my local friends um, and local subscribers at the Dartmouth Mall, where I work, Five Below was supposed to open up um, tomorrow. The grand opening is supposed to be at 10, but they've opened it up a day earlier. So that's that's so that's a cool thing. So uh, check out the place if you can. Uh, if you like it, yeah, cool. If not, well... Who knows for sure? Um, <laughs> oh, another another thing too is um, if you're a, if you're a gamer like myself, um, I always put up get these thumbs. That's, that's I haven't done one of those in quite a while, but I may end up doing a game from the Switch, and I will tell you why. November eighth coming out for the Switch. If you pre-order it, it's only seven bucks. It's Johnny Turbo Arcade's Data East um, retro game of the of the nineties. It's a side-scrolling beat 'em up called Night Slashers. Uh, it's basically Final Fight meeting Castlevania or Dog Stalkers. Depends on your perspective. Me, it's Final Fight meeting Dog Stalkers, but under a different company. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, uh, so I'm probably going to do an episode of EML Simulator TV's Get These Thumbs on that. I'm going to learn how to get the switch over, convert the switch over to the uh, TV. Once I get that settled out, we'll be ready to go. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Um, I'm going to pre-order it, but I'm getting paid tomorrow, so I'm getting a gift. I'm getting myself an eShop card, and we're going to be work. Go, we'll be getting to work on that, homie. We're like, all right. Um, so that's the uh, that's the four one one of things. Uh, it's it's November. Can't wait. Um, it's it's warm. It was warm today. So warm. I thought it was in the seventies for the sakes. But like Indian summer. Uh, what if we had that every? I'm well, hoping it happens during the winter too, because I would love to see. Because I would love it. But they predict. They're predicting uh, there's going to be the coldest winter. We're going to have the snowiest winter. They make these predictions. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Who knows for sure? The almanac is just, you know crazy people. I don't know why they make these predictions, and all of a sudden something else comes up. You never know. Um, so that's it. That's all the time we have on the show, and, uh, episode 147 of, uh, EML 77 TV, WBE Crown Jewel Picks and Predictions. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, if you, if you want to watch the uh, Crown Jewel event, you can, feel free. If you don't want to watch too, for whatever reasons, that's fine, I understand. To me, it's about supporting the superstars, and the wrestlers, and the performers, not it's not about supporting another country. It's not about blood money. It's not about any. It's just supporting the superstars. They made the decision to do this event. They decided, and they decided to sacrifice. They were putting a lot. They put themselves, sticking their necks out for this, and uh, that's why I respect the superstars. So if I'm showing, if I if I watch the event, I'm showing the superstars respect. It, you know. I know that uh, the country Saudi Arabia is backwards and everything in life, and just uh, you know, and they and sometimes they get some they refuse on stubbornness, and it, it drives you crazy though. But um, this is about the superstars for me, so I'm going to watch it. And ro- after reading Rob Trotter's post on on the Crown Jewel event, and I inspired me to say, well, I'll do it. I'll watch it too for the superstars. All right. I'll see you guys later. You have a wonderful day. A wonderful night, actually. It's 9 o'clock already. Because I'm not watching Impact right now because it doesn't come out until 10 now. So we'll check, out, we'll check things out there. All right. I'll see you later, guys. God bless. And um, have a great day, huh?